Uh, I'm reading one here from Malaysia, and this cool feature is from Idempier, this new info window. But let me show you a bit uh, my weather here. It seems that uh, weather here in equatorial Malaysia is 22 degrees this early morning, which to us is winter. Okay, back to the story. What I want to do is uh, to talk to you about um, uh, an announcement, which is uh, a process button, which I've incorporated into the info window. Now, this info window is very cool. It allows you to customize um, your window to uh, look, uh, basically, um, into a very, what you say, um, abstract window in the sense you do not have to code it, hard code it, it is basically set up to the application dictionary and you will basically end up well looking, um, I'll give you an example from here, um, there's an info window called seosodo.picking, alright, it's hitting the code, let me turn off the debugging mode. I was just testing it and I finally got it working after many weeks. Let me, yeah. So it now worked fully. Now, a normal info window will have just requery and zoom. Okay. And if we were to press this, you will get a row of radio buttons where you can select and then you zoom in to the sales order. No? So, this is the normal. Um, info window setting okay so um, so what I've done is that I have introduced a process button now this process button will allow um, let me show you what you can do basically uh, when you are in that info window and you, you first it will allow you to have uh, multiple selection but let me show you how it's done if you go to application dictionary, um, here's an info window, okay, where you join other tables and then you define their columns. Here's where all the columns come out. And what I've done is I've introduced a new field called the process button. So what I'll do is that I can now select the um, process and once it's safe, uh, and I go back to the same window. Uh, this way I'm going to show you the magic. I'll switch this off and then call again the window. You see the process button. Do is grayed out or disable appears. Okay? Now when you press the refresh button, you notice that they are no longer in radio buttons but uh, multi selection boxes so that you can select all of them and you'll see that the process button comes on. If you can deselect and if you were to choose one, it will still allow you to zoom. Now that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's process one first and see what happens. So you come up to normal process window, you process it, and it's supposed to go away, but um, it does not. But the workaround is that I disable the process temporarily, uh, so you have to require it. But if you try to play around with it, you see that it's automatically requiring. So you are safe there. And let's process the rest. Okay. Let's do this just to prove the concept. Your requiry is gone. And uh, we call up the outbound order in this Libero warehouse management uh, plugin uh, sample. And you will see that they are both here. Oops, sorry. Let's get back to the I go to the next record and you see they're both here. Okay, just to muse around with the cool feature of Idempio here, you we have introduced um, a new multiple uh, deletion method which is you just more intuitively select all the records that you want to delete. And when you press this, it will ask you if you want to do so and that's it. So this is the way you can test with the uh, Libero manufacturing uh, uh, 
uh, plugin that I've just done, but you can also do it with other um, um, info windows, right? So it is been defined here. So let's get back to my notes. So this is what I've done. Uh, when you set the process to the info window, you'll get the behavior. And the behavior, when one record is selected, you can zoom in or you can process it. But if you have more records selected, only the process is on and the zoom is disabled, like we had it just now. Right? Okay, right. So if I press select more than one, the zoom will be disabled and I'm not able to do that. Okay, so that's been subtle. And when no record selected, well, none should be on. You're not supposed to be able to do anything. This is true. So, and then, um, yes, we also will force a query after processing. Now, what's the impact? Um, it's, it took quite a number of days uh, to ensure that green lookup, you will not have processing. You, you know, uh, what Hang Seng did to info window is that the cool thing is that you can look up to an info window from a field. Okay, let's see. Let us do that. Um, that is one lookup to, uh, let's see, um, point of sale terminal for a business partner template. Right? And when you were to select here, it actually calls up a lookup, info lookup, and you will see that there's no breaking. There's no uh, there's backward compatibility. Uh, there's no impact on your normal, so things things are fine, right? You still have your radio buttons, so this is pretty cool, pretty cool in the sense that the new process uh, introduction is working very well, and this has been sponsored by Sysnova. Right? Okay, final impact. Normal info window can still zoom into the table. Yes, uh, which I've proven an onset. Okay. That's all. Good day then and uh, all the best.